How's it going everybody? Welcome back. Wanted to go over some Dying Light 2 news that came out around August 1st as it relates to some content coming to the game in the next few weeks. Also I wanted to recap some news that leaked around the middle of July in case anyone has not heard of that or read that information yet. So let's get right into it. So the news around July 19th stated a new Dying Light 2 story DLC is potentially leaked online, courtesy of the game's files and a data mining effort of these files. The files come specifically from patch version 1.4, which was released back in June, and according to these files, Techland is working on a DLC dubbed Opera, or at least this is what its code name or placeholder name is. Unfortunately for Techland, within these files are actual renders and gameplay of this DLC, apparently. According to the game's field, the DLC is story-driven and gladiator-themed, which, with uh, major events taking place in an opera house called Opera Astrid and its surrounding area. It's also noted that there are two different endings, 2,000 pieces of dialogue, and a thousand stage directions. That is crazy, guys. That's more than regular games have. That's insane. Unfortunately, what the files don't make mention of is when the DLC will be revealed, let alone released. It's clearly in the works already, and fairly far in development. So we should see it soon, but for now this is just speculation. There were rumors that a DLC would be coming in September, so we'll have to see. Personally, I think this idea is pretty cool. It almost sounds like there could potentially be an update to co-op play through this DLC as well. That's my theory anyway. With the Gladiator theme, I'm sure that will bring lots of parkour and combat challenges, I feel like, our way. So now the news that broke around August 1st. The game is getting brand new story content in a few weeks, and it'll be coming with the 1.5 patch. Techland has revealed Chapter 2, A Huntress and a Hag, the second batch of story-driven post-launch content for the game. This chapter follows Agent Shen Shiyu, I think that's how you pronounce it, also known as the Huntress, as she prepares deadly new challenges for the player. She looks like a badass assassin crossbow lady, so maybe we'll get another crossbow, maybe a new pack with some explosive bolts maybe. I'd like to see those since we have explosive arrows, but no explosive bolts. But anyway. This new chapter is going to introduce new bounties, enemies, weapons, and more, besides the overarching narrative involving Shiyu. There isn't a release date for this update right now, but Techland notes in the press release that it'll be arriving in a couple weeks. Techland says it plans on launching a new chapter every three to four months, so quarterly updates pretty much. These chapter releases will introduce new content to Dying Light 2 between major DLC launches and they'll be supplemented by more frequent regular game updates with bug fixes, tweaks, etc. The plan is to add elements that will remain available for the entire life of the game. So essentially their plan, as they've stated in the past, is to continually bring content to the game for the next five years and do as they did with the first game. Personally, I think the fact that Techland will continue to bring content to the game just like they did for the first game is something you something you don't see most companies do for their games, and that's fantastic in my opinion. Anyway guys, let me know if you enjoyed this video. I will continue to keep an eye on breaking news for the game and share interesting news with you all. So that's about it. Stay tuned, more coming at you. Take care.